She didn't grow up in Lansing, but when Hortense Kennedy decided to put down roots here, she left an indelible mark. It's Women's History Month today, and we're going to tell you all about a woman who blazed a trail right here in the capital city. Kennedy actually grew up in Chicago, but after graduating from Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, she and her husband, Clinton, came to Lansing and started a family. Clinton was a well-known dentist, but Hortense had a passion for education, civil rights, and policymaking. I think she's one of Lansing's, uh, uh, I, I would say, uh, old school, uh, you know, the, the part of the fabric of Lansing, uh, Michigan. A lot of firsts in everything, you know, I think she In 1968, Kennedy ran for a seat on the Lansing School Board of Education. She was the first uh, African-American woman elected to the Lansing School Board of Education. And although that vote was recalled, but what she stood firmly on um, was just the integration of schools. And so just playing a pivotal role in that. Hortense went on to co-found the Le Maire et Debutante Cotillion Club, sit on the state's Women's Commission, and was instrumental in educating students at Lansing Community College. She really sought to educate. She was completely committed to policy. She knew that if policy was established, it would the process would stand. Not only was Kennedy impressive in her own right, but her children have made notable accomplishments. Her daughter, Alexa, is the first African-American woman to become a neurosurgeon. All three of her sons became attorneys. One is an Ingham County judge, while another served on the Lansing City Council. Hortense died in 2010. She was 83 years old. She's a Michigan Women's Hall of Fame inductee and was named as one of Ebony Magazine's most influential people. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.